and here's a Stratus 3. Hi. Hello, uh, my name is Raul. I'm the overseas uh, digital marketing manager here at uh, Amazfit Huami. And uh, here at uh, your Shenzhen office? Yes, in our office here in Shenzhen. Um, and yeah, to show you our Stratus 3 watch. So what's the latest with the Stratus 3? Uh, well, the Stratus 3 is a sports watch. Uh, it's been made uh, specifically for sports ent enthusiasts. Um, so, yeah, in terms of sports, it has uh, 19 sports modes. Uh, it includes uh, outdoor swimming, open water for the ocean, treadmills, indoors, elliptical, uh, rower, climbing, trail run. It has a triathlon mode, it has ski, tennis, soccer. So, yeah, it has a lot of uh, sports modes that you can choose from. Um, it also comes with the uh, first beat technology. Um, so we, we have a partnership with uh, first beat and they help us uh, with the uh, software to better uh, help users improve their skills and train uh, with more insights on their own performance. So it's got some uh, efficient algorithms in analyzing all this stuff. Yes, the first big algorithm, it analyzes your performance, it tells you um, uh, how much was your VO2 ma max, uh, how much you should rest until your next performance, um, uh, yeah, how much was the intensity of your training if next time you should uh, train in a more intense way. So it, it gives you several insights for you to train better. And it's got this amazing display. Maybe we can hold it just right over here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really perfect to use outdoors. It's always on display uh, with very, very long battery life, right? How long can it go? Yeah, the battery lasts for seven days in the smart mode. Which, which, which we call it uh, just uh, the, the normal mode where you have uh, the four GPS, you have the 19 sports and all. And then we have a power saving mode. Uh, we call it the uh, ultra endurance mode where it can last up to 14 days. Uh, where you still keep most of the features, uh, but some features are uh, reduced so you can have it for, for longer battery time. Uh, yeah, so... So you can switch between the different modes if you have different, and also different watch faces? Yeah, these are the different watch faces. We have a lot of watch faces also in the app. You can, you can do it from there. All right. Um, and the different watch faces sometimes have more or less kind of uh, stuff displayed. For example, this one might have a few more things going on. Yeah, they, they have different information. Uh, some, some of them have, uh, you know, display more information. Some of them are more minimalistic. So it depends on the style. It depends on what you're doing. If you're doing sports, maybe, you know, you, you, you want to have all the information available at the first sight. If you are um, maybe going out, uh, you want to have something more elegant, more minimalistic. And what happens when you swipe down there? When you swipe down here, you can change uh, the brightness, you can go to settings. This is the ultra endurance mode. Um, you, yeah, so here you can activate the ultra mode. You can also have uh, the night mode uh, and the airplane. Uh, yeah, so when you swipe up, uh, you go to your health stats. Uh, so how many steps you've given, how many calories and floors. Um, when you slide to the left, you'll see the notifications, and when you slide uh, to the right... The, you, you can select the notifications, read the whole thing, and you can swipe them away. Yeah, you can swipe them away or, or read them, and then when you swipe right, then you will go to the full menu where you can see the rest of the... So you have a nice features. sleep tracking going on with this also? Yeah, it has a sleep tracking, it has compass, um, it has a barometer, it has four, four different GPS combinations um, for, for a better tracking of your, uh, of your routes. Uh, and then all the other, you know, you have timer, uh, stopwatch, you can control the music. You, can, you also have um, some storage inside the watch so you can put the music inside the watch so when you go out for a run if you're wearing you know your Bluetooth head headsets 
you can just go with your watch and your headset and you don't need uh, the smartwatch to, to play the music. So they are always on display, you call it transflective, right? Yes, it's transflective because uh, it's perfect for outdoors. So the brighter the sun, the more the clear yeah, the, the having screen to, is. I mean, you can also raise it, what's it called, to turn on the backlight so it becomes brighter or when you click the... Yeah, yeah, you can do it either way by raising or with the buttons. We added four buttons into this watch. Since it's specifically for sports, sometimes, you know, when you are out of sports, it's difficult to, uh, to manipulate the screen, maybe you're sweating. So, yeah, with the four buttons, it's, uh, it's easier for, for athletes, uh, athletes to manipulate the, their watch. What's happening under here? Well, this is a, the PPG sensor. So this is the sensor that tracks the, um, uh, the heart rate uh, when, you, when you sleep, when you're running. You can also have it like 24 hour heart rate. Um, and this is for, for the battery, for the charging. When you do 24 hour heart rate, does that mean it takes it constantly or it takes it every minute or? Uh, it, will, it will take it constantly. Yeah, so it will take it constantly. You see the graph yeah, of you, the heart rate the whole day. Correct. You can see, you can monitor your heart rate uh, constantly. Let me show how's you. The, how's the battery life when you do this? Well, if you use it constantly, of course, the battery life is going to decrease. Um, there are, so in, in the lab test, uh, we, we, when we test it, we use it only several times like that. And it can last seven days in the smart mode and 14 in the ultra mode. But of course, it depends on how much you use the entire set of features that, that we have. And the GPS is also something where you can set the, how, how much it does it? Like a... Is it, is it periodical or if it does it constantly? Yeah, yeah, the GPS you can also go, uh, you can also go for 70 hour continue GPS. Um, so with the ultra mode, uh, yeah, you, you can track. So if you're going for long routes, uh, usually, you know, people that, that go hiking for very long routes, um, they can track with the ultra mode for s up to 70 hours with the continuous GPS. And the uh, specs are pretty good. Like this is a really good, decent smartwatch battery. Uh, so it's for people who really want to, um, it's a, uh, it's the most advanced kind of sports smartwatch, no? Yes, for us it's the most advanced uh, sports watch that we have, um, which is definitely one of our uh, key uh, sections of smartwatches. So when you have the, um, uh, the list of all the, uh, the sports, mm -hmm. you have them in here. Yes. And you have some really uh, hardcore things, right? So people who want to hike in a huge mountain, or they want to, where is it? Um, they can just take their smartwatch, for example, on the hike, and they can hike on a mountain and no need to bring the smartphone. It will yeah. track the whole time. Correct. Uh, with you put it in the ultra mode, it can track up to 70 hours of the GPS. So it will, you know, you, you, you can have your long route. Uh, also for rowing, uh, if you go rowing for several hours in a big lake, you can also. You don't like it. to bring your smartphone when you go rowing. Exactly. So you can have climbing. Uh, you have climbing. You have thri uh, triathlon. You have ski, tennis, football. Yeah, it's not good to bring smartphones for all these things because it it weighs you down. You want to do everything just with a smartwatch. Exactly, and and the fact that you know that you have your music inside the watch um, also makes it easier for you to just detach from the phone and you can go directly with your watch. There's no chance that maybe it could be smart and understand what sport you're doing without you having to select it. That'd be cool, no? It, 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 does, uh, it does detect, for example, when you are walking in a fast pace or if you start kind of running, it will say like, oh, you're running. Is there any sport you want to uh, activate. Turn on, activate, or do you want to activate? It t tells you directly. Do you want to activate running mode? So it does track when you are uh, walking faster. Well, what than does usual. it? What does it do to change different modes for all these different things? Uh, why is it so important to select that you're running when you're running and not just? What is it? 
track differently? Well, uh, th there are some things that are tra tracked equally, like your heart rate or the time or the distance or the pace, but there are things that are tracked differently. So for example, when you uh, swim, it will track your laps. Uh, so how many laps you did, how, how m much time you took in one lap, in the other lap, so which one was the fastest lap, the slowest lap. Uh, when you go play tennis, it will tell you how, how many uh, backhands you did, how many forehands you did, how many serves. So there are different uh, things that the watch measures according to the sport that you select. Can you uh, track the score in the tennis match by just saying my point, your point, my point, your point? Uh, no, for now this, this is not available. What it does is that uh, it, it will tell you how many uh, backhands, yeah. forehands and serves. Nice. Apart from all the other things like, uh, you know, uh, the distance, the speed, the heart rate, uh, the VO2 max, the intensity of your sport, uh, how much you have to rest, uh, yeah, all these Because it'd be cool if there was one of the players that was kind of sending the live score of yeah. the tennis match while they're live streaming the match on YouTube and yeah. people are watching all over the world and they could use the smartwatch to send a score. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's of course interesting, but you know, I think uh, also uh, for most sports, uh, you know, when you're doing sports, athletes like to be fully focused on what, on, on what they're doing at that moment. So it might be, you know, maybe some people will use it, but uh, I would guess that uh, for the most serious uh, athletes will be completely focused on what they're doing and, and they wouldn't be, you know, like typing other things. So waterproofiness is pretty good. You can definitely swim. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You can definitely swim. You can swim also in open waters, in the ocean, in a lake. Uh, so yeah, this, this watch has a um, 5 ATM. So yeah, it, it, it can resist up to a uh, 50 meter pressure, water pressure. So you can even dive. Um, well, it's, it's not recommended. It's not recommended. It's kind of tricky uh, because, well, we have the international standards of 5 ATM, uh, but for diving, it's it's not recommended. Yeah. You can uh, you can snorkel. You can snorkel for sure. Yes, yeah, no problem. Um, yeah, but uh, it, it's important that every person uh, checks specifically what are the standards and the features for a 5 ATM. So. Um, yeah, you can swim in an open water, but for how long you keep it uh, under a certain uh, water pressure, I think it's important to, to be fully aware of what 5 ATM means. And um, so there's a music player going on here. What does that do? Yeah, so with the music player, you can control the music of your watch, of, I'm sorry, of your phone. So when you have uh, music in your phone storage that you're playing, you can control it from your watch. You can uh, change, uh, you know, the the, the songs, the, track. the tracks. Yes, you so can right even now, store some music on here. Yes, the watch also has a, a, like two two gigabytes. Let me double check. It has two yeah. gigabytes of uh, music. So you can put some bunch of MP3s right there. So you can go running without your phone and listen to it uh, using Bluetooth headphones. Exactly, exactly. That's that's the whole point. That you can go running with your Bluetooth headphones and you don't need to take your watch, your uh, phone. But uh, for services like um, Google Music, Apple Music, uh, Spotify, Deezer and all that, that's maybe not quite, it's more like the music player that you have exactly. with the local files. That yes. are on the phone, right? That are on the phone, yes. We, we don't, uh, well, the Circus 3 right now doesn't have the, 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 the Spotify, uh, but maybe in the future uh, we will have it and we will update it to, to all our products. So you do lots of firmware updates for the for this watch? There's some software updates coming sometimes? Uh, like you do, people can update it through the phone, through the app that you have, maybe, sometimes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here does... Um, uh, so, for example, those notifications yeah. that are coming through from the phone, you can read them. What can you do more? Can, is there any chance that you might reply or do something, or is just read them? It's just to read right now from the phone, from the watch. You cannot uh, reply. Um, 
Yeah, so it's just to, to, to read them and then every notification from every app just shows up, like the ones that you can set, you know? Yeah, you, you, you can in the app, in the app, you can set for which apps you want to get the notifications, for which ones you don't want. So this is uh, the company named Huami, is, uh, is it part of Xiaomi? Uh, no, we are a different company, separate, we're partners, uh, we, we have worked together. Uh, and we will for sure continue to work together, but we are separate companies. We have our own brand, which is Amazfit, and we have our own, you know... Because uh, Xiaomi brands. is pretty big in China, uh, but many other countries also. And you kind of using through their... It's an app called the uh, MeFit? Yes, yes. Uh, so again, we're partners, uh, but in the end, we're, we're separate companies. All right. So, uh, how about the availability of this one? Uh, some some countries have it already, right? Yeah, in some countries it's already available. In Europe, uh, it's available. In Spain, in Italy, in UK, in some others, it's still uh, waiting to to be available. The price is around two hundred euros, uh, but it varies. It varies from country to country and from different distributors. Um, but yeah, that's. So 200 euros, you get um, you get a bunch more features and way, 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 way more brighter life than like an Apple Watch or something, for sure. For sure, yes. You get like, you don't need to worry <laughs> so much about charging. The Apple Watch is every night or every couple of days, but this one, two weeks if you want, or one week. Yeah, if you have it in the smart mode, you can have it one week. If you have it in the ultra mode, you can have it two weeks. And the display is pretty much always on and but also with the backlight to see it nicely in the dark at night. Yes, and it, it has, uh, you know, also these four buttons make it easy to, to manipulate when you're out running or doing a threat th 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 